Meanwhile, a court party presidential candidate Christopher Momolen says he will make education a top priority if voted in as Nigerian president come 2023. Momolen said this in an interactive engagement organized by civil society groups in collaboration with the national leadership of the Christians Association of Nigeria and the media. The 39 years old aspirant, who is the youngest presidential candidate, is expected to appear alongside the APC presidential candidate Bola Metinubu, amongst others. The session ended with a clap innovation for the youngest runner, but the decision of who becomes the next Nigerian president remains with the Nigerian electorate. The, the problem of education is a very big one for us. And in many interviews, you would have watched my idea about education. One, probably maybe at the age of 39, maybe I'm even the most educated candidate. Maybe. At this age, I have provided so much in education. That shows that I will become a leader that will prioritize education. I said it. I said in my own time, we'll be budgeting much less than 20% of our budget just for education. As it is today, we have about 6.5% budget for education. In a country that have over 18.5 million people out of education, out of school, we, I always say this, that Nigeria is a polygamous union. If you are going to look at it based on region, let's say six wives, what is done to one must be done to all. If truly as a country, we must have a country that all will believe in. Do you know what my ascendance as president will do to Nigerian youth? It's going to bring back a renewed hope to the mind of Nigerians. Many youth out there have already given up. Nigerians cannot even aspire. Nigerians cannot even have ambition. Because we believe as young Nigerians that ambition is only meant for a particular class of people. Even in a country where even the Nigerians might not even give you opportunity to aspire. So my emergence as a president of Nigeria will bet a fresh air of opportunities to Nigeria. Nigerians will begin to believe in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.